Like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell if you got a question, you know I'll answer it. Today we're doing the fuel pump. So we have two different kinds of fuel pump. I picked Arch Nemesis on purpose. This one's off of Ford, this one's off of Chevy, Great American Classic, no size here, unbiased. They're both pieces of shit if you ask me. Now what's important is each one has return line, supply line, evap line, okay? Then this particular one, that's the fuel tank pressure sensor on this one. That one is the plug for the power. The power actually controls the fuel pump, which is up inside of here. All it is is actually just a little pump that just draws. All it does is just suck fluid and pushes it all at the PSI for the pump. This is your sending unit. If you ever had a car where it says it's on empty all the time, either this wire got severed, this solder got severed, or this flat out got broken. Now the premise behind this is as you fill it up, because it's buoyant, it floats on top of the fuel until it's full like so or empty like so, it just reads the level at the position that it's in. Now that is pretty much concrete standard for both pumps. These are both separate, these are different. There's a couple subtle differences though. This one, fuel filter integrated into the pump. Chevy, fuel filter in line in a subsidy fuel filter that's an addition on the rail like most Chevys, okay? This one also, if you notice, there's only one line, everything else went through here, and then you have your power ground. They all have a seal like this, which is your tank ring seal. That's so gas doesn't splash up underneath and you get an evap leak. And typically these parts are 100 to 200 bucks depending where you get it from. Um, you can just do the pump if you want, but why would you not do all of these extra components and just fix it? So that is your fuel pump in a nutshell.